You're watching Final Score on Fox 16. Championship Sunday. The bracket for this year's Arkansas High School State Finals is set after a thrilling day Saturday of state semifinal action, two of them being in Class 6A. For the first time since 2021, the Little Rock Central Tigers are going dancing. Central boys won a nail biter against Springdale Harbor 59 to 55. The Tigers finished the game on an 11 4 run after trailing 51 to 48 with less than four minutes to go. They will face top seeded Bryant, who blew out the home team. North Little Rock Saturday 62 to 41 charging Wildcats struggling offensively Saturday with shooting. So it's round three of Hornets and Tigers. Bryant swept the regular season series between the two. Here's what Central head coach Brian Ross had to say after an epic win to advance to Hot Springs. Man, it's awesome. It's awesome. It doesn't matter how many times you go to Hot Springs, like it's a special feeling every time um, because every year it's a different group of kids and, and you, you, it's just a different journey. Every, every team's got its own story to tell and, and I'm wearing this shirt because all year our theme was finish. You know, last year we had a great season, but we didn't finish the way we wanted to. So, I mean, literally about 363 days ago, I walked in the locker room and said, next year we're going to finish. And uh, we got the t-shirts made and all that. And, and here we are. I'm so proud of these guys. It, it took everybody, including Clay, uh, you know, Clay barely played tonight. Um, it just wasn't the right matchup for him. And he's been a big part of our team all year, but I needed him on that last offensive play. And then my guy hits a three. Uh, this is a storybook ending for him in this game. And uh, we're, we're so happy right now. I felt like this group deserved it. And if this group of seniors had graduated without a championship or without even a trip to Hot Springs, it, it would have, man, it would have felt empty because I think they're good enough. They've always been good enough and they've always worked hard enough. And the biggest thing is they love each other. They care about each other. Um, you know, that was our thing today was we wanted to play with no fear because perfect love casts out fear and those guys love each other. To give us thoughts and insight on what we should expect from the boys state championship matchups this year, let's bring in friend of the program, real deal in the rock founder and Arkansas Hawks president Bill Ingram. Bill, thank you so much for joining us, man. Man, I really appreciate it and uh, thanks for having me. Absolutely, absolutely. Let's jump right into it. The 6A boys title matchup between Little Rock Central and Bryant tip off is slated for Friday at 7.45 p.m. Bill, these two had an epic game, one of the best games I've ever attended in early February at Hornet Arena, where Bryant won on a late three-pointer with five seconds left to win by two. What do you think about the matchup and who comes out on top of this battle? Well, you know, both of them are playing extremely well right now and this is the right time of the year to be playing really well both of them have gone um brian went through uh a, a situation where they had some injuries everybody's back healthy now i think central is probably playing their bas best basketball and like you said that was a phenomenal game between them and, and harbor and that was they actually their second time beating harbor this year but you know to beat a good team everybody knows that saying to beat a good team three times is really difficult to do so they're both in they they both have plenty of motivation state championships so nobody needs to be you know you can't poke a bear and get anybody fired up because they all should be really fired up and ready to play i think it's going to be a great game i'm anticipating it being a nail biter and, uh, and it's a toss-up right now i think who will win what do you think about the matchup between kellen robinson of bryant to honor boltang of central i know those two are definitely going to go at it well, you know, Honor is the reigning Gatorade Player of the Year. He's top 30 ESPN. Uh, he's uh, already committed to play in Missouri next year. So, and Kellen is, 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 is trying to, I'm sure he's trying to accomplish some of those things too, but I'm sure both of them want to win a state tournament. And at the end of the day, when you're playing these games like this, it's not, you know, uh, you, you don't want to get into a, a mono a mono ma matchup. You want to do the best thing for your team in order for your team to win. Because at the end of the day, people only remember who won the state championship. And I think that's what both of them, I think that's what both of them really, I know that's what both of them really want. So I'm sure they'll play accordingly. Absolutely. No, you're absolutely right about that. Bringing it down to 5A, it's Pine Bluff and Benton Friday at 1.45 p.m. The Panthers beat Parkview by 18 to advance. The reigning champion Zebras needed a Courtney Crutchfield buzzer beating three, which you'll see in a moment, and double overtime to take out Lake Hamilton. Bill, do the Zebras go back to back or does Terion Burgess and the crew take it from them? Man, you know, they've, you know, Benton has beaten them twice this year. 
uh, really shocking for them to go to Pine Bluff and beat them because they never lose at Pine Bluff. So, you know, and that's, you know, and both of them are really business won their first state championship. Of course, Pine Bluff won a repeat. Uh, you know, I, I, you got you got great players. You got Terry Young Burgess, arguably one of the top, you know, 10 or 15 players in the country in his class. He's playing great. 31 points in the last, in the quarterfinals, in the semifinals, and over double digit rebounding. And of course, Courtney with Courtney Crusher had been hurt, but he's back now and look like he's he's, he's rounded in, in the shape again. Uh, he's a phenomenal basketball player as well as been a phenomenal football player. So this will be a great matchup. Uh, be round three for for both of them. Uh, but I think those other two are thrown out the window. But because of the situation with Ben as that having won and Pine Bluff wanting to repeat. I don't think those previous two games mean nothing anymore. It's all about this one game, and I think we'll see another epic battle between the two of them. Want to know every week in 4A, the reigning champion Little Rock Christian Academy and Farmington have beaten their opponents by double digits so far in the state tournament. But on Thursday night at 7:45, something has to give. Bill, I'm not too familiar with Farmington. What should we expect to see from them against Landron Blocker and company? Well, Farmington is all about uh, Lane Taylor. You know, they have a great team. They've, they've only lost two games this year, and that was to a 5-8 five, five, bend and 6-A Springdale Harbor. And But, of course, Little Rock Christian is defending state champion, and they won that state championship last year. Nobody was expecting them to win that state championship when they defeated Blytheville after Blytheville had defeated Farmington. So you're looking at two great teams, and this is another <laughs> colossal matchup. And, uh, and and like I said, and I think this is another toss-up game. I think all three of those, these championship games we just talked about are toss-ups. I think uh, it's going to go down to you know who's going to make the least amount of turnovers and who's going to make the big plays down the stretch. And lastly, in 3A, Central Arkansas Christian and Bergman will do battle Thursday at 1.45 p.m. Razorbacks football commit Grayson Wilson made the game-winning layup with five seconds left to beat Dumas to advance. Your thoughts on this matchup? Well, you know, uh, uh, Grayson is a very good athlete. He's one of those two-sport guys. Uh, I think, you know, from looking at both of those teams, he may be probably the best athlete. He'll be the best athlete on the floor. Uh, Bergman is very good. They sound fundamental. They play great basketball. And CAC is another school that's embarking on trying to win probably their first state championship. No one really expected them to get to that to this point. It'll, it's, that's going to be a great matchup. That'll be another. In all of these games, there will be huge crowds. So if you plan on going, you probably better get there as early as possible uh, to get in that gym and, and, and get your seat and witness it. But I. I'm, I'm actually picking CAC to win this. It'll be a really good game, but I think they have the better players. I think they have the better players, and I think uh, that Grayson Wilson will make a difference in this, a big difference in this game, but I'm actually picking them to win. All right, CAC for the win. Cannot wait to be down in Hot Springs for the first time and see these matchups play out. Bill, thank you so much for joining us, my friend. No problem. Thanks for having me.